Greetings YouTube, this is Quentin from Network Creations TV and I have a review of Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. I uh, purchased the Galaxy Nexus on the, from the Play Store for $349. I've uh, owned the Galaxy Nexus before but I sold it and I wish I wouldn't have because I really like it. It's a neat phone and it's running pure Google which I like. Anyway, let me boot it up and so we can get right to it. And you'll notice the little lock symbol. That means the bootloader is unlocked. In case you don't know, some people don't know that. And you'll notice the new boot animation. Um, it's not really new. It's sort of like the old boot animation that Google used to use with uh, the Nexus One, which I really like. I like it better than the uh, honeycomb and ice cream sandwich uh, versions. Okay, we'll let that sync up and uh, I'll give you, I'll unlock it and give you a, a little overview of the software. Okay, the software is not that much different from Ice Cream Sandwich. Here's the unlock screen and you notice it has this uh, di a different style of a uh, unlock, little, a little bit of a different animation. You see these little dots and you can unlock it here. Swipe up to go to uh, the Google Now or Google Search your camera or unlock to unlock it. The Google Now I'll show you uh, in a few minutes. Uh, but there's not a whole lot of difference looks wise but the main thing is Project Butter or what Google calls Project Butter which uh, makes the uh, interface run a lot smoother than uh, previous versions. More snappier. And I do, I do notice a difference. It does, the transitions do work uh, better as you notice see how the phone opens it's got that kind of a cool transition and then a uh, little bit of stutter there but overall it's pretty it's pretty uh, smooth also one of the things I like is when you want to add widgets if you have a bigger widget that or an awkward size widget that may not fit uh, it'll resize itself to accommodate the fit and others in a, on the screen and other widgets and see how that kind of moves out of the way it moves to wherever area that you need to, to in order for the widget to fit and then if you want to uh, remove the widget or app you just hold it up long press it and just swipe up which that's kind of a, a good new feature that I really like also the the big the the big thing that everyone's talking about, I'll just get right to, is uh, the new Google search function. You just hold on the home button and swipe up like so. It opens up. And I'm going to see if I can use my voice to uh, activate it. Google. Who is the coach of the Kansas City Chiefs? So that's pretty cool. And uh, I noticed a lot of videos, they didn't demo that. Because sometimes it, you have to speak clearly and it doesn't work well. I was watching, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I was watching Twit uh, all about Android. And they were the, one of the guys was showing how you could just call it out. You can either call it out or press the little microphone. Let me try to call it out again and see if it works. Well, I, well, yeah, okay. Google. Okay, see, it didn't work that time. I'm going to uh, try a little microphone and do another search. How old is Maria Sharapova? Maria Sharapova is 25 years old. Okay. See, so it pulls it up pretty good. And you could probably, if you want to know her, uh, her tennis record and everything, you could probably do that. Let me do one more. How old is Rihanna? Years old. So let me do a uh, a thing where it sets the time. Set an alarm for 6:30 a.m. Setting alarm. So you see, it set the alarm. That's pretty cool. Pretty functional. 
Uh, it doesn't talk to you as much as Siri does, but it the, the working working as a search function, it works really, really well. And I've seen uh, videos where comparing it to Siri, and it, it seems to work just as well, if not better, in some areas. But uh, you know, I haven't like I said, I haven't used Siri. Another thing that I like uh, is this little music, the new music widget, My Music. Uh, it has the last three songs that you played in your playlist, and then with the the very least last one in the bigger section of it, and you can just press on it to get to all your music or the, what you were playing. The interface is a little different, you know, and it it flows like butter, <laughs> just like everything else. Not a big deal to some people, but um, I like it. Okay, I'm going to show you the camera software, which hasn't changed, but it's a little different as far as look. There's, a, there's my HTC One X, and we'll open the camera, and uh, I'll take a few pictures. But you can see how it transitions. Let me get it more centered. See, it's got that cool transition, which is really cool. And then you can bring up your pictures like so. Pinch them down and just kind of scroll through. Hold my hand so you can see that better. But I kind of like that. And you can swipe them up like that, the, the ones that you want to get rid of. Which, that's, that's really cool. I like that. Swipe them up or down. Uh, but other, it's, it's a tip. And you can undo it bring them back see and then you know it has a typical uh, camera software whoops okay and then you know you have your, your typical menus for your camera software I don't I don't use the camera that much so I don't know a lot about it you know you still have your uh, your video camera and your panoram filming mode so it's only a five megapixel camera. Some people don't like that, but that's not not a deal breaker for me. It still takes pretty decent pictures. Okay, here is the settings section. You can access from the drop down. You notice it looks a little different, a lot better, I think, uh, with the Roboto font in the notification area, I should say. Click on there, and the settings is not really hasn't really changed. Only difference is under account is on the main settings screen, which I like better, and has your accounts uh, listed in, individually. Developer options and your dock. As you can see here, it is I'm running Android version 4.1, but that hasn't really changed. But the notification, the improvements in the notification area is really cool. And I, I should have, I wish I had a just uh, not read all my emails because I could show you the, the new way that you can expand and uh, shrink the, and in viewing your emails. You've undoubtedly seen that on other videos. So. Jelly Bean uh, 4.1, uh, Android 4.1, also it runs uh, live wallpapers a lot better. And I'll give you a demo of that. Just long press like normal and, and you notice it has a different uh, look with a white background than the usual setup and we'll we'll uh, choose uh, this time we'll choose the Nexus so we'll have the Nexus uh, theme and see it's, it's still running very well no stuttering whatsoever still transitions very well but it runs up it runs uh, on live wallpaper very well a lot better than past uh, versions of Android which it really kinda suffered with it I tried another one I noticed the best one that it runs with is this plasma beam but the plasma beam doesn't have a lot of movement whoops okay let's try that again set plasma bean doesn't have a lot of movement so you know it kinda doesn't tax it but I mean 
Jelly Bean runs with a live wallpaper a lot better than uh, previous versions of Android. Whoops, that's my music. You'll notice I have Google Chrome. This version doesn't actually ship with Google Chrome. Google Chrome. It, um, I had to install that myself. This is a pre-release version. When uh, the Nexus 7 tablet comes out, which I have on pre-order and I can't wait to review for you guys, it's going to come ship with Google Chrome, but I had to install this myself. You can install it from the Play Store. What's really cool is about Google Chrome is you can, uh, if anyone, any of you have used it, you probably know that you can, uh, it syncs across all your desktops and devices. So like if you're watching one thing or viewing something, a page on one device, you can switch to another device and uh, basically you can view it, show it. I won't go too far into it because this is not a Chrome video. This is a... Uh, uh, operation operating system video or jelly bean uh, video but uh that's a it's a neat thing and like i said i when i when uh the nexus 7 comes out i'm gonna you'll see that and that's that's a that'll be a good interview or good review i'm sorry but the play store has some neat things you know with the magazines and everything and you can see what the, it just kind of Transitions are really, really well. Also, what else? It had a, uh, the movie section is different too. Right here. Seems a little different. And it seems like this was made for Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean also. So. But, I'll probably be utilizing this on the, on the Nexus 7. And like I said, you can, you can get the, uh, Nexus Galaxy Nexus, I keep wanting to call it Nexus Prime, <laughs> but anyway, the Galaxy Nexus from the Play Store for $350, $349, basically, $349.99, I believe, and they lowered the price. It's one of my favorite phones. I like pure Google, as I said, so uh, I really like the experience, but, you know, it's up to you. A lot of the newer phones have a lot better specs, but this is mainly the, what improves this phone is the software, no doubt the jelly bean update okay that's about it uh, for the, my little review of jelly bean uh, or like I said I really really like it I think it's a really decent update from Google I like the fact that they're selling things on the Play Store uh, that's pretty cool I hope they keep doing that you know I just like the experience uh, well just tell me what you think what do you think of uh, this uh, I the jelly bean over ice cream sandwich I really like it uh, no, and this is like I said this is not a full release uh, when the, they start releasing it in uh, a few weeks or probably a week or week or so from now hopefully a week or so from now uh, I'll probably install the, the official release and uh, and see how that runs which I'm, I'm pretty sure will run pretty well anyway as always, thank you for viewing my video, and this is Network Creations TV, or Quentin from Network Creations TV. Have a nice day.